Welcome to our secret venue where we are about to premiere the UK entry for the Eurovision Song Contest this year. <laughs> Having heard the song in rehearsal this afternoon, I can tell you we are in for an absolute treat this year. Before we hear the song, though, let's meet Molly. She's the singer and also the writer, and I caught up with her this afternoon in a break from rehearsals. So, Molly, how long have you been writing and recording for? I've been writing since I was about kind of 11 or 12, really. Mm -hmm. And then um, I started recording when I was about 15. Mm. So, quite a long while. Now, obviously, you came through um, BBC Introducer. For people that don't know what that is, maybe you could describe like how this came to be today. Oh, OK. BBC Introducing is amazing. It's, um, it's a platform for aspiring like artists, basically, whether you're a songwriter or a band or whatever. You know, it's really, really hard to get music out there, to and get it played get on it the heard. radio. Yeah. yeah, it's the hardest thing in the world. Um, so this is a platform set by the BBC for anyone. Um, if you're unsigned, it's, it's so easy. You upload your tracks, you make a profile for yourself, and then it goes to your local radio stations, and if they like it, they'll, they'll play it. Mm. So who was your champion? Um, a guy called Dean Jackson. He's based in the East Midlands area, which is where I'm from, Leicester. On BBC Local Radio? Yes. So he's always been a champion. He's played quite a few of my tracks, actually, over the years. And do you know what? It, when you're kind of struggling away, doing it on your own, and you're not signed, and it can be a real, like, struggle, and you're trying to fund it all yourself, mm. Like, getting those little radio plays or getting someone like that supporting you, it just means everything. It just yeah. gives you that, that motivation yeah. and that confidence to think, no, I, this is, you know, I am doing the right thing. And a lot of people have been discovered that way, like yeah. Florence and the Machine. Yeah, amazing. Uh, Jake Bug yeah. recently as well. Mm, um, yeah. And a lot of people who have come up through BBC Introducing even get to play on the introducing stage at various festivals like Glastonbury. That's the dream. Yeah, I mean, Glast it's incredible. Get me to thing. Glastonbury, get me to Glastonbury. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I want. <laughs> what I'm obsessed with there's what you told me earlier which is you've had to keep this quiet from your <laughs> friends and family for weeks now yeah. and they're turning up here tonight mm. um, and they just think that they're seeing <laughs> a gig of yours yeah and they don't even know that you're the UK entry no. for Eurovision this year no what are they gonna be like I've got no idea I'm quite scared <laughs> They don't know anything at all. No. They, they, some of them are getting a bit suspicious because I've been quite pushy, particularly my family from back home in Leicester. I mean, obviously, I'm gigging all the time. Mm. I'm never really trying to get them down, particularly my 91-year-old grandmother. Oh, bless. <laughs> um, but I'm like, you really need to come to this one. And they're like, why? They just, they're like, what's going on? What do you think your family are going to say? They'll probably swear, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> um, so I don't know. I don't know. I think, I think they'll be, like, majorly happy. I mean, yeah. they've kind of supported me since I was mm. a little girl. And I think anything like this, they'll just be over the moon. I mean, it's a big deal, isn't it? We're going to show people your family's reaction a bit later on. Because I, I think it's worth seeing. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> we'll see. What sort of track did you want to write for the contest and, and why? Because it's, it's important for us to say that this track has been specifically written for the contest yeah. this year. Um, well, I wanted, it, I wanted to be true to myself most of all as a songwriter and an artist, so um, I just wanted to write a song that really meant something to me that I thought would connect with everybody. Obviously, this is a dream situation for a songwriter because I'm putting a song out there that I've written to a lot of people. Yeah. So it'd be, I'd, I'd love to think that they they get it and yeah they feel empowered and yeah. What are you most looking forward to about Eurovision? Is there anything you're really excited about? Am I getting you excited for it? Because yeah, it's my favourite thing. You really, really are. Um, yeah, I, I mean, now obviously I've been working on this. I didn't realise it was such a big machine and there was so much going on and. You know, everyone's just so excited. Everyone who's been before is like, it is the most fun yeah. ever. It's the and most fun week of my year. <laughs> no doubt. I love that. Yeah. I was really surprised, actually, when I was approached by the BBC about, sort of, you know, trying this. I touched on it with a few of my closest friends. And uh, some of them were really cool. And I thought they'd be really like, oh, don't, you know, don't do Eurovision. But all of them were like, oh, my God, you have to do it. Yeah. <laughs> and they were like, oh, and if you get it, can we come and wave our flags? <laughs> <laughs> right, so you've got, you've got like, the, the, the kind of approval of your, yeah. your cool friends. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> OK, so we've met the singer. Do you want to hear the song? <laughs> Please welcome, with her first ever live performance of Children of the Universe, this is Molly! I've been tired of the stinking So I've drowned it out by drinking To 
Tastes like a bitter pill, but I'll just wash it down with the taste of something sweet that some doctor gave me. And this is a madness. I'm not giving in. We shine like diamonds. We fly in our bones. Stand beside you. I've the feeling that I'll never walk alone. This opportunity will take Put an end to all the suffering Before it gets too late Hope's on the horizon yeah. I'm not giving Let's say congratulations to Molly, everybody. How was that for you? Amazing. <laughs> Feel good? Yeah. <laughs> well, listen, your friends and family who are here tonight must all be so very proud. Uh, incredible performance from Molly. Now, let's see the moment earlier on, because they didn't know you were here tonight. They thought you were just here for a special gig, not anything to do with Eurovision. So let's look at the moment that you broke the news to them. <laughs> so, um, yeah, you're probably wondering why I've got you all here, and you've probably noticed that it's a bit bigger than my usual gigs that I'm yeah. doing. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, basically, I've written a song, and I, I really like it, and um, some other people like it. So it's going to be um, the UK entry for Eurovision 2014. <laughs> so an emotional night for you, Molly. Um, I think everybody in here tonight enjoyed the song. I cannot wait to hear it again and find out what everybody thinks about it. For now, though, I'm going to say goodbye and let's wish Molly all the best of luck for Eurovision 2014. Here we come, Copenhagen. Good night. Just, it was amazing, it was catchy, and I really think it's going to do well this year. I think the British nation are going to fall in love with her. Yeah, there's definitely a winner there. Molly is such a fantastic uh, singer, she's a great voice. The song's marvellous. I think you'll get the crowd going behind us. Marvellous. Fantastic song. 
Um, obviously, Molly's a, a fantastic singer-songwriter anyway. Um, so glad that this has come through the BBC introducing. I think it's paving a way for singer-songwriters everywhere. Um, and yeah, I really hope the nation get behind it. It's fantastic. Molly's been brilliant. Good luck, Molly. To the people, and yeah, yeah. you know what we want, and we gotta get it now. Something stirring in the silence, hey. and it looks a piece of violence. Oh. Hold on tight, this opportunity will take, put an end to all the suffering before it gets too late. Hope's on the horizon.